Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code. The problem name is check if all the integers in a range are covered. So the problem statement goes like this, that you are given a 2D integer array, as you can see range. Okay. And also two integers left and right. Now each range of I, as you can see, each range of I has a start and end. Okay. Now, which represent an interval from start till end. So which you just understand that you have different intervals, different ranges. Uh, as you can see in this 2D array. Now you have to return true if each integer in this inclusive range of left to right is covered by at least one of the intervals. Now what you understand from here is that you just have a range that is from left to right. Okay, this is from left and right. This is a range. Now there are different intervals also. Okay, you just have to understand. Uh, just tell me that whether all the numbers in the range from left to right are covered by the intervals from this particular array range. Okay, that's it. Now, what covers means? Let's take a small example for understanding that. Let us take that. We have, let's take this example only left and right. So, let's say we have uh, all the numbers from left to right. Okay, so, left, right, so it is from left, which is like 2, and right, which is let's say 5. So all the numbers between 2 and 5, so which means 2, 3, 4 and 5. So you just have to understand that all the numbers between 2 and 5 should be covered by the numbers present in this range. The ranges are 1 to 1, 2, 2, then 3 to 4 and 5, 5 to 6, 3 to 4 and 5 to 6. And they both are like uh, inclusive, or like every number is inclusive. So what you understand is that I have, you can just assume that there is, this is some sort of a band-aid. Okay. This is a bandit. Okay. This is some sort of a, you can say, you can just say that this is some sort of a, uh, you are uh, like, like some sort of a bridge. Okay. Okay. And you want to like repair this complete bridge. And this is some sort of a plaster you want to put on the bridge. So you just have to ensure that all the parts of the bridge are plastered. Okay. So which means that let's say I want to plaster a bridge from one till two. Okay. I will just do a plastering from this one to two, one to two half. Okay, then I want to plaster from 3 to 4, 3 to 4, then from 5 to 6, 5 to 6. So as you can see that the complete bridge is plastered. You just have to understand that it said these are different plastering type. Okay, you have to do this plastering on this bridge. In the end, the complete bridge should be plastered. Every point in this bridge should be covered. That's it. That nothing much complicated. So what you can directly do is that you just have to ensure that you just iterate over all these, let's say, ranges one by one. And you just make one more, let's say, array. And just keep on counting how, like, what is the number of elements this particular range is covering? This is covering 1 and 2. Okay, so let's say this is the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, then this is covering the range 1 till 2. So 1 and 2 range is covered. Then this is covering 3 and 4. So 3 and 4 is covered. Then 5 and 6. 5 and 6 is covered. So this is the complete covering that we'll do. We just have to understand that whether our bridge is also covered. My bridge is from... 2 and 5. So 2 is this and 5 is this. So, okay, this is this whole part is covered. So, that is. so just, you just have to build this array and then just iterate over this array from this left to right and ensure that all the blocks in this particular range are all covered. If it is, then answer is true, else answer is false. So, the overall thing is this only that we have to first make an array uh, of this particular length. So, from left to right. So, I just make from right pl right plus 1, which means that left is also covered. I just make, because the concept is pretty much small. Okay, you can just make a complete array of that. Just iterate over all the ranges, all the, uh, let's say, intervals in this particular ranges. And just do a for loop over what over whatever interval you have. And just increment that particular value, like how many blocks you are covering while you are plastering this, uh, in A of J plus plus. Okay, so just you're just counting out how many blocks you have plastered, like, uh, which, which means that you are just building out this array. Now you're again doing a follow from left to right and just ensuring that every block should be covered, which means that it should be having some value because it is an in slice of zero and you have done some plaster, which means that you've incremented the value. If any value turns out to be zero in this complete range from L to R, which is the bridge, which means that if any value turns out to be zero, which means that that particular block is not plastered, that is not covered. In that scenario, the answer is false that I have not completely plastered the complete bridge. Okay, I have not covered the whole, uh, you can say, the left to right range. Okay, if that is not covered, the answer, answer is false. If everything is covered, this condition never hit, then the answer is true. That's it. That's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem as well. Nothing much complicated because the conditions are pretty much small. And that's it. I will see you in the next one. If you still haven't out, check your mention in the kind box for this particular video. I will see you next one like coding and bye.